Coming up on this episode of Where to Go and What to Eat, we explore Iceland's capital, Reykjavik. So we're gonna walk down the street and try to get some hot dogs. So I'm like really excited. It's got so many people here. We also have some great money-saving tips. Plan to spend your first day in Reykjavik. Hi, I'm Lance Elliott. We're here in Iceland, and this is Where to Go and What to Eat. Here we are in downtown Reykjavik. It's pretty sweet. It's super, like, beautiful, really kind of old feeling, classic. There's like a lot of really cool storefronts that like just look super cute and quaint. Including a little taste of home, but we're not going there. There's a hot dog stand that's supposed to be super famous in Reykjavik. Let's see if we can't find the famous hot dog stand. I've got some tips for you when you come to visit Iceland. I know it's gonna be tempting to just drive out into the country and like go see all the landscapes they have here because they're just breathtaking. But my recommendation is plan to spend your first day in Reykjavik because the stores here don't open till 11 and it's really expensive to eat out. But prices at the grocery stores are actually decently comparable. So I'm gonna recommend you spend your first day in Reykjavik because then you'll be in town when the stores open at 11 and then everything pretty much closes at 6.30. That's not like a bar or a restaurant. All the stores close down. So if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg to eat here, then definitely go to the grocery store and plan to buy stuff and keep it in your apartment and keep it with you, make some sandwiches. And that's going to be the cheapest way to eat here in Iceland. When you land here, stay the first day in Reykjavik so you can go shopping and buy all the food you're going to need for your trip. That's my recommendation for you. Let's not forget that we are still on the hunt for the famous hot dog stand, and I think I see a wiener shack up ahead. We're here in downtown Reykjavik in Iceland uh, with Victor. He's going to be making a hot dog for us today. Iceland's supposed to be pretty famous for their hot dogs. So what are we making on this hot dog? What's special about it, Victor? No idea. <laughs> What's the typical thing that people get? Then let's get everything. I'm all for that. At this hot dog stand, they put raw and fried onions, ketchup, a mayo mustard mix, and then a very sweet mustard to top it all off. Do you like the hot dogs here? I'm vegetarian though. <laughs> So I really don't know. How did you get to travel where you have the hot dogs then? Uh, my stepmother, she is not head of staff. Head of staff? Yeah. Okay. Like for all the three for the, the bar and the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm excited to see how well a friendly vegetarian can make a hot dog. That is really good, actually. That's not normal mustard. Well, that hot dog was really good. We learned that the famous hot dog stand is somewhere else, so our search continues. I'm not sure exactly where this stand is. We were pointed this direction, but who can say? Possibly someone here can say, I cannot, but we'll find it. It's a beautiful city here. I'm gonna kind of like turn so you can see behind me all these different, you can see like that hill, look at really cool churches here. This building right here, super awesome. One thing about not knowing where you're going is that sometimes you find something unexpected. Does this say what I think it says? Is this actually legitimately what I think it is? Um, we're gonna take a video of this because that is just so weird. The Icelandic Penis Museum. That's apparently a thing I don't think we're gonna go to that. Not quite the type of hot dogs we're looking for. Real interesting museums here in downtown Reykjavik. All right, so we talked to a couple locals here and they pointed us in the right direction. So now we're gonna get some of the famous hot dogs. I'm pretty excited about this. This is something I've been looking forward to actually for this whole trip, is to get some of Iceland's hot dogs. This place is called Bjarin's Bestu Pilsu. The famous hot dog stand. Look at this. Look how famous that is. It's got so many people here. It's a tiny little stand. All these people. And like, it's, they're busy like this all the time. 
So I'm like really excited, super pumped to get some of these famous Icelandic hot dogs. All right, can we get two hot dogs with everything on it? Yeah. Kind of interesting, I wouldn't think Iceland would be famous for hot dogs, but they're supposed to be incredible. So I'm like, I'm, I'm way excited. This is gonna be awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, pretty excited to try this hot dog. This place is called Bjarin's Bestu Pilsur, which means the city's best hot dog. So I'm excited, we'll see if it is. Oh man, that's definitely really good. It's interesting, they taste different than American hot dogs for sure. Um, I think it's the mustard. It's pretty, it's a different mustard, but it's delicious, I love this. It's a little messy, definitely recommend. When you're in Reykjavik, your first day here, come down to Bayerins Best to Filsur. Come to the shop down here. Um, it's just right in downtown Reykjavik. If you ask anyone, they know exactly what you're talking about. So it's super good, come get a hot dog. With our bellies full, we got back in the car to head to our next stop, Viking World. Stick around for a sneak peek. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. Speaking of which, here's a preview for the next one. That is really sweet. I am really, really excited right now because I am standing at the tiller of the Islandinger. This is an actual replica ship from the Viking era. This is like a dream come true.